Mac Voices is supported by Smile, the makers of world-class software like Text Expander. Find out about all their great utilities at smilesoftware.com. Mac Voices is at the Super Meet in Las Vegas in NAB. I'm Chuck Joyner. Folks, we always go around to some of the tables and try to interview some of the folks that are here exhibiting. This time, we're talking to Colton about SoundSnap. Colton, it's good to see you. Good to see you, Chuck. So, tell me about SoundSnap. Uh, so, SoundSnap is a uh, online sound effects library. Uh, we have over 200,000 sound effects, and uh, we're one of the largest libraries online where we curate all the sound effects from um, select contributors, and uh, we make it available so you could either buy 5 or 20 at a time, or you can um, buy an entire subscription for a year, and you get unlimited downloads. So, it's a really good asset for uh, people who are doing a lot of sound effects, um, or who, people who need a lot of sound effects on the regular, like sound editors or uh, video editors or indie filmmakers or just content creators. Um, so we provide a, a, a huge uh, database that uh, gives you a wide variety and a large sonic palette um, for anybody like that. Now, let's say I need a sound. Is there, how, do, how do I search for it? What, how, how granular can I make the search? Yeah, so uh, SoundSub, um, when you go on, you can search for pretty much any keyword you want. And then as you kind of see them pop up, you can do... Um, additive or subtractive boolean searching so you can kind of narrow down as you need uh, you can get pretty granular uh, as granular as you want with uh, how many or many additions or subtractions you want you know? yeah because uh, you know i can think door closing okay wooden door closing metal door closing exactly so you can say door closing and then say minus metal if you don't want to have any metal sounds in there oh really you can do it that way yep yeah that's interesting yeah um, so this is these are just sound effects. We are not talking about royalty free, royalty free music or anything like that. We do have some music loops available, some music beds. Um, it's not our specialty, but we do have them available. Uh, some people actually do use our service for that, but our specialty is sound effects. So, okay. Um, where do you? I mean, I have to ask. Where do you get the sound effects? Do you make them, or do people create them for you? Actually, we don't make them ourselves, so uh, we work with uh, specifically like hand-selected uh, cur um, contributors, people who are professional sound recordists who go out in the field, record all over the world, record in their studio, or people that are sound designers that kind of make them from scratch. So we kind of hand-curate them so we know that the quality is good, and we work with those guys. I, don't, I think a lot of us don't appreciate how many sound effects we are hearing in anything that's produced. We, th because they seem so natural and, they're, and that they're edited in so well that they forget that somebody somewhere had to create that particular sound. Right. There's a lot of work that goes into it. I mean, even just uh, if you bought a library for 100 sounds and they're all ambiences, I mean, somebody had to sit there. I mean, it probably took them at least a weekend to record them. And uh, they had to sit down and then edit them and master them. So there's a lot of work that goes into them, and so people a lot of times are looking for free sound effects. Sometimes we have little specials and we give away certain free ones, but there's a lot of work that goes into it. So people, um, it's, it's nice when you kind of get to hear the quality reflected on our website. And there's definitely something to be said for having that searching capability. We've all gone through that phase, I think, where, oh yeah, I'll just start building my own library and you know, from the free stuff or stuff I find places. And you quickly find that, okay, I know I had it somewhere, but I have no idea how I tagged it or what I named it, and then I have to go and buy something anyway. Yeah, exactly. So what's nice is that um, we have somebody who goes through and manually tags and categorizes all these sounds. So uh, depending, on, you know, depending on how you want to search for it, there's a lot of different ways you can search for it and narrow it down, making it really easy to find what you need uh, pretty quickly. And a lot of people like video editors and film editors are on, on a tight timeline, so they need to find what they need fast. So SoundSnap uh, makes that pretty easy. Do I have the capability of downloading samples uh, to, to drop into a project to see if it fits? Uh, no, we don't actually provide uh, that ability currently um, because what we, what we allow is for you can browse for free so you can see any sounds that you need, but uh, we don't allow the downloads because we don't provide, um, we don't put audio tags on them. So some, some websites that kind of put audio tags or they put like really low res versions, mm -hmm. but we just kind of let you hear the full res version up front. Um, and we kind of make it, uh, we try to make it affordable enough that it's, it's reasonable. You can, you can buy five or 20 at a time. So. Yeah. That's another thing about, about audio versus stock photography or stock video is you want to let people hear it, but you also want to, want them to be able to copy it or take it. Exactly. Yeah. It's a constant struggle, right? Yeah. yeah. But we try to make it easy for people as well. Yeah. Great. Um, where can we send people to find out more about it? 
Um, you can go to soundsnap.com. Um, our front page of the website and our uh, products page has all the information they would need. There's an FAQ um, and a community you can ask questions. Um, yeah. Is there such a thing as requesting a sound? Um, you could do that in our community. So we have, a, if you go to our website, you can go to FAQ um, section. They could take you to our community. You could do like requests. So um, yeah, if you request a sound, um, we'll kind of put it on our radar and then try and include that um, in the you know when we're looking around for new contributors. We'll see you know if our library really needs that. If we get people requesting it, we'll try and include it. Yeah. Very nice. Very nice. Soundsnap.com, folks. That's where you need to go to check this out and get some sounds. Colton, thanks so much. Cool. Thank you. Folks, more from the Super Meet and in Las Vegas, I'm Chuck Joyner. Thanks for watching. Visit MacVoices.com for show notes and to connect with Chuck on social media. Get involved in our Mac Voices Facebook group and get more out of your Apple tech with Mac Voices Magazine, free on Flipboard. And if you find value in it all, Consider supporting us at patreon.com slash macvoices and join these folks who help keep Mac Voices coming to you. Advertising handled by Backbeat Media at backbeatmedia.com. Bandwidth provided by Cashfly at cashfly.com.